Welcome to the East Town Town Council meeting. Um, thank you for meeting us at the local Wawa. Uh, make sure before we get the meeting started that you have your hoagies. Uh, Mayor, stop vaping. This is a business meeting. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm Bill, along with Danny and Shone. We, uh, we've been loving Mayor of East Town. We've kind of been talking about it, obviously, on the podcast. We've been talking about it a lot in our group chat. We haven't been much just happening it, um, mainly just because it's been Sunday nights and stuff like that. And we ha are working on the podcast and other things, usually on Sunday nights. Uh, but it's probably been the best appointment television the last five weeks. <clears throat> what would you guys say? Yeah, and I don't think anyone expected it to be this good. Like it just came no out of point. nowhere. And I, I only checked it out because of an article I saw from Hendrix that it was shot in Delco. And I live quite close to all the shooting locations and it, it, it held my interest. So I told that story and it was Kevin Bacon's daughter getting interviewed mm -hmm. about going back to see where her grandfather worked because he was this great Philly architect and city planner. So I was more interested in that and checking out the accents and see how Kate, Kate Winslet did. And then I so happened to get so ingrained in the story because it's so well written and so well acted. So yeah, it just, it, just, it came out of nowhere for me and I've, I've loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And uh, before I pass the chum, I mean, we're talking about the last two episodes here, people. This is spoiler central. Okay. Evan Peters, pour one out for him, man. He did a great job. This whole performance was great. Such a great job. Like he was one of the characters that and that came out of nowhere. Yeah, it did. It Boy. totally did. But shame on us for thinking that Evan Peters would last until season two. You know what I mean? He's such a great actor. He has so much other things going on. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like I feel like we're kind of lucky that we got him for the performance that he did, and he did a fucking stellar <clears throat> performance. Yeah, I don't know that there will be a season. No, two, I'm pretty but, sure um, it's touted as a limited series. So is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, could so see this. I could so see this doing a season two. Um, I just don't think they're gonna hold anything back. I mean, look what we saw episode five. I mean, that shit was nuts, dude. You find out who has been kidnapping these girls, uh -huh. and that 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 scene was literally as close to leaving the party as you can get. Yeah, because his facial expressions, the blood on the wall. And all of a sudden you have to accept, yeah, he's dead. And then we saw that one shot of Mayor looking down and she's just like, Oh, like she really liked the kid and he just kissed her and you could tell that hurt her, but obviously she had flight or fight instincts. She had to go still fight, even though her boys were, she could see him. Remember that shot? She was looking yeah. through the hole and she could see him. In the attic, yeah. And then ultimately gets to his gun and his gun saves her life. I mean, it's just, man, that scene was, that's some that's some miniseries type shit. That's why miniseries are so good. They don't hold anything back, man. There's no filler. If, I, if this was a regular show, we don't see that till season two. Yeah, I think so, then if they that's a very good point. If they decide to, uh, we just said I'm pretty sure it's confirmed as a limited series. But I think like you said, if you take this story, this show would become the killing. Remember the killing? Yeah. The killing yeah. was an awesome show. The killing but, was great. But then there's another killer. Then there's another mystery. Then all mm -hmm. of a sudden it's like, oh, who wait, who was the first person that got killed? Like you don't even yeah. remember the original hook and story. There's there's a reason why the killing had good season one, good season two, and then it dropped off. Because season one and two were the same case, just mm -hmm. stretched out, which is fine. If you know, if you're gonna do that, stretch it out for two seasons and that's long enough. And that's fine. And and the way they found out who the killer was and everything, great. But the way Mayor of Easttown is doing it, man, they are not holding back. They are not holding back. Because the fact that we found out who did that three episodes before the finale, that speaks volumes. So now we have the last two to focus on. Uh, first of all, how's Mayor going to be dealing with this death? I mean, I think Colin, I think that's really going to hurt her. Especially because every, he, everything he just told her, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah. That, but then she has Guy Pierce's character sitting back who also wanted to go on the date the same day. Richard Ryan, he plays in the show. I think, unfortunately, Colin's mother was right that she took the date with him to stay close to the case. Um, but she did care for Colin. So you got to wonder how that's going to affect her. And then with two episodes left, dude, so we got to find some shit out. So let's get to the bottom of it. 
Yeah. So like I said, the whole point of this meeting is for us to talk to about the main two lingering issues of the show, which obviously is who killed Erin and also who is the father of her child. So I do want to like pull th some things up. We'll kind of run through the suspects here. Um, I think quickly before we run through, I think there was a few people that we may be able to clear. I think last week was really big, obviously, in clearing the priest. Um, I mean, does anyone think that he's still viable? Deacon? Yeah. Yeah. I, do. I don't know. Uh, so he admitted that he was with her the night she died and he had the bike in her trunk and he tossed it. Mm -hmm. But then he was yeah. like, that's why I tossed it because all this other shit going on. So I, I tend to believe him for now. I, I like to think he was a red herring at first. And even Elon Musk played him on SNL and they were like, yeah, you're the killer. And he was like, yeah, I am. So like, I, I don't think it'll be him, but uh, he did get his ass whooped. That's for oh. sure. Sean, do you think he's still viable? As, as a threat as well or do you are you kind of moving on from him on your suspect list i definitely think he's a threat now is he the killer i don't believe so um and it's an interesting uh, it's kind of an interesting point that you bring up danny that they uh did it on snl do you think like god forbid you know and i'm not giving a lot of credit to the SNL writers versus the mayor of Easttown writers. But do you think if they actually did get it right, do you think somebody would have to like call them from HBO and be like, Hey, listen, you gotta like cut that out. That's see, see the, the date. All right. This is why Mary of Easttown is so good. So let me just backtrack a second. So the first episode, they didn't really get into much besides the cold case. And then her friend that was going through cancer called her out about Katie Bailey being missing for so long. So they didn't get into much. And then the new murder happens. And then you're like, whoa, what the fuck? Are they all connected? You know, how this, how, how did Aaron die? So that's what really got me all wrapped into it in the first place. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to cl clear anyone per se, basically, except uh, her ex-husband. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's a shot in hell. He's that guy there. Yeah, so, I don't think so either. From the office. So Roy from the office involved. is cleared. Yeah. Dylan, no, I'm, I'm, I don't trust Dylan yet. Now, Roy from The Office, just so we kind of can run through, though, we do know that he lied about his relationship. He definitely was giving her aid. We do yeah. know that him and Mare have had, had obviously had issues enough now, a lot of it stemming from their son's issues. Um, also, though, we have gotten inklings that he's currently fighting with his current fiance and things aren't super smooth there. So he was cleared by the paternity test. So we do know that he is not the father. So we can't not obviously father, cross yeah. him off of that list. But, you know, there is still, like you said, there, there's something more to it. I don't have him as either on mine. Like I said, obviously, the paternity test took him off the father list, but I don't think he's the killer. Uh, Sean, before we move on from him, do you think he's the killer? Yes, yes or no. Do you think that Roy from The Office is the killer? Oh, no, not at all. Okay. No, all right, not so at we'll, all. we'll cross off Roy from The Office. Um, he moved on now. from Vitamin Shop to Delco, which is great for him. Yeah. Uh, Dylan. Uh, obviously, Dylan Hinchy. Dylan was the ex-boyfriend of Aaron, the long-believed father that we found out via that same paternity test round that he is not the biological father. Um, Dan, what do you think about Dylan? Do you think that he is the killer since we know he's not the father? So his arc has actually been quite crazy. So at first, you know, the way he was talking to Aaron – Mm -hmm. in front of his new ex i was so pissed off and then clearly they they all initiated that fight for aaron to get her ass beat and dylan was just sitting there watching his baby mama get destroyed and i was it not was okay with such that. a delco thing to do yeah i, I was I'm not, laughing how much of a delco thing it was i don't like him as a person but and now with his new girlfriend he like rushed her out brianna he was like yo like get get to go to fuck home and then they they destroyed her journals. Yeah, they burned her diaries. I don't know why she would do that and why Aaron's best friend would be all all in with it, like helping them. So maybe he has dirt on her, but, but also keeping some sort of a snippet or picture or something that she put in her pocket before she threw that last diary in there. Right. So we'll see what that is. But uh, I'm going to clear him from murder. I don't think he murdered her. And I don't know about uh, that. I want to. I'd keep him on the board. Well, no, we're gonna go here. Like with like, remember, I'm just asking you at the end of these guys. Like, if this is the person, 
that you think it is. I want you to explain why. So we're cycling through people. So yes, I'm or waiting no, for mine. Yeah. Do you, are, do you, Sean, yes or no? Do you think Dylan is the killer? I feel, I really feel like, like it's way too early to tell. I'm There's not sure. Left. Yeah, no, we're, make just, these calls. We're, we're making these predictions. We're all going on the record here. All so right. We, now yeah, I'm going to no. go on the record and say, no, you got to okay. pick someone. Cause by the end of it. Cause it had a gut, a gut feeling just no. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, so um, before I, there's still a few people pictured here, but before I get to those, I did want to bring one other person up that for whatever reason, his photo, his quality did not come through. Uh, Richard Ryan. Richard Ryan is the author, the one that we've seen since the pilot episode. Um, I personally, I don't think he's the father, obviously, since he just showed up in the town, but uh, I'm going to clear him of the killing. I do think it is very convenient that he showed up right when these you know these killings occurred and i think that was something early on that they were trying to lead us to believe uh my theory on this guy is that he knew about the cold case going on and he was kind of like going undercover trying to like write a new novel or do Ooh. research for a book and he's like a manipulative fuck because he's made a few comments about like guess this will be the only one i write or this or that and i'm like this just seems convenient i don't think he's a killer but um that's that's my little tinfoil hat theory on him he's using this misfortune opportunity to make some make some bank so this is guys pierce's character great great actor been around forever Uh, now i hope that he's a good person truly so that mayor at least has someone to grieve with because sure she can grieve with her family but no one's really gonna understand the whole thing with colin because that, like, it just happened so quick. He said he has a crush on her, and then he died out of nowhere, man. That was so Leo. It's not even funny. But, um, okay. Uh, so now we're getting juicy here. We're getting, we're getting juicy. juicy here. We're going to get juicy. Now, um, we have the Ross brothers. Um, yep. Obviously, cousins to Aaron's father. So, technically, uh, Aaron's cousins. Um the last episode, and this is why I took this screenshot. This was where Mayor came over, was visiting with Lori, Billy, and John. Uh, Lori, a uh, picture before, that's Mayor's best friend. That's the redheaded woman who's been really like a rock for her throughout. Um, it really started to push the buzz on this family. If you remember, this was the conversation where Mayor finds out that Billy actually had had Aaron living with him for a period of time that had never come up. He couldn't give her exact times. He got very shaky about the questioning. This is, you know, you can see both of their body language. This is a very uncomfortable conversation. So Mm -hmm. I, um, we have the Ross family really as the last three here. So Dan, I'm going to let you go first. Uh, Then I'm going to give you mine as a rebuttal because I kind of know just based on what you were texting, kind of where you're leaning. And then Sean, we'll get yours and we'll all kind of uh, maybe come to a consensus before we leave here. But uh, Dan, I guess, so however you want to start uh, baby and father, if they involve the Ross brothers. Yes. Uh, yes. And I'll get to that. So John Ross is on the right and he's the father of Ryan Ross, the husband. And it turns out he was having another affair. At first, I was really worried. The way they were talking, is he doing it again? Like he was assaulting his own son. That's that's the way it seemed at first. But it turns out he's been seeing this other woman, the same woman. And it, it seems like the second time he got caught. So can't really trust him. But Billy Ross. Okay, Billy Ross on the left. He's been kind of like if you go back and watch True Detective, right? The lawnmower man. He was right in front of your face a couple times, but you didn't really notice him. And it turns out he was a killer. And if you would have paid a little bit more attention, you would have picked up that it was him because there was like signs on there was there was a couple signs that you could have picked up. All right. But that's one of the best murder mysteries of all time. True Detective season one. OK, so I'm bringing this back up to now. Billy Ross, the brother of John Ross. The uncle of Ryan Ross. He was a little too shaky, okay? He couldn't answer the questions, and then he ran out because he felt uncomfortable. And, and my major, major point here is they pulled a Breaking Bad. By, by pulling a Breaking Bad, what do, you, what do I mean? If you listen to the podcast, you know. When, when, they, when I say someone pulled a Breaking Bad, that means they zoomed in on something, an inanimate object, for too long. And that was the beer bottle when, when he left. 
I think Mayor swiped that beer bottle and is going to get a DNA test because there's no other reason to focus in on that beer bottle for that long. That's it, a good it, was, it, it was just it was sitting there like evidence, evidence, evidence. So I think she either swiped it or she plans on getting a test from uh, Uncle Billy there. Now, do so, you think that's going to be kind of like the like linchpin MacGuffin kind of thing or I think I think he'll admit to being the dad towards the end, but he won't admit to being the killer. Now, in terms of who the hell the killer is, I was saying this to Bill. Truly, I have no clue. Truly, truly, I do. And and I think that's a great part of the show because they mixed in this cold case with this fresh case that happened to not be related, but they were going on simultaneously. So it seems like they could have been related. But really, this bar owner was just a sick fuck and he liked it. Uh, you know, kidnapping women, got one of them pregnant, got rid of her. So I think Billy here is, is the father of Aaron's baby. And I'll go on a limb here. I'll go on a limb. Okay. John, John, all right, fuck it. We, we're making predictions here, right? Fuck yep. it. John, I don't trust him because of what he did to his family twice. He tried to. Oh, he tried to get his son in on the lie, like between me and you, buddy. Like, that's fucked up. You're fucking that kid for life. A, a kid that young can't handle that type of shit. They just can't. And he beat the shit out of that bully, which I was cheering him on for. That was awesome. Remember when that bully so was messing awesome. with the Downs kid? So yeah, awesome. Yeah. I was like, get him, get him. And he he, he got him good. And then that he breaks, scene made me so mad. Yeah. But then he breaks down. All right. So here's my tinfoil hat theory. I got to keep a tinfoil hat close by and put it on whenever I'm doing this. John knew about Billy fathering Aaron. We're going to see a scene later on where Aaron's contacting Billy, but John says he'll go meet up with her, and then he kills her accidentally or on purpose. But I'll say John's a killer. Billy's a father, and he was trying to wrap up the secret that Billy had knocked her up while he was staying with her. That's my take. Very, very interesting. I think all of that makes a lot of sense. Um, my theory is very similar to yours, a little bit of a different wrinkle. Um, I think, like you said, that visual cue, the beer can is very important. I agree. Mayor took that. And I think that DNA is going to point to the Rosses. I think the MacGuffin really there and really the, even the, the visual cue that they were trying to pull, throw you off a little bit is I think that John's the father. I think okay. John is the father. I don't think that there's another affair that's going on. I think when he, she even goes as he's doing it again, I think there's been a cover. I really, really do. I, I think even the initial cheating, they talk about another woman. I think that story was BS. I think it was the, like that situation when they initially, she, the, like the, the mom's going to initially, the wife initially finds out. I think Billy finds out and Billy actually isn't like a terrible guy. He's like super nervous. He's super bad because John seems to be a little bit more intimidating. Like you said, he tries to get people to take and keep secrets. I think Billy's keeping this secret and he's fucking losing it, dude. He is not about it. He's guilty as shit because he knows about what the fuck his brother did. And I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that it was a combination of John and Lori, the best friend. I think she finds out about it. She's enraged. Something happens and she cleans this fucking shit up. She's ending up with this baby right now. It seems very convenient that she's ending up with this child. Ooh. I think that she's been such a rock to mare this whole time that like that could be like the last dagger you know what i mean and i think that even like this after this next episode they could maybe think it's billy because of the dna and like not have the 100 percent match yet because john and billy probably look dna wise pretty much like the same so it could lead her to thinking it's definitely billy but I, i'm gonna go that it's john and that billy's shit is because he is cracking more so than that he's actually the baby daddy Okay, well, we're at least on the same page where we think these two are involved. I think they're both involved in one way or another. What so do you we think, can agree, we, we agree on that. So go ahead. Yeah, I have to side with both of you guys. I think they're both involved in some extent. Either Billy was covering up for John and accidentally killed her or or vice versa. Or John was, you know, Aaron was the other woman. And because uh, because the young man 
Ryan is so young, he that girl is a woman to him. Like, who knows? I'm not sure. Or maybe so, he didn't know. The only reason I'm going to say that she's not the other woman is because Lori asked, is it the same person? And she and he said, yes. So, I mean, yeah, he could have been mistaken. Yeah, but true. Just, just because he got caught with the same person twice doesn't mean that was the only person he was. Fucking. Exactly. Yeah. So he could have definitely saw Aaron at his brother's house, had sex with her, knocked her up. That that could totally have happened. But uh, these two, yeah. at least one of them's going to prison, if not dead. And uh, I think I think they both had something to do with it. I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I think it's John that is going to be. Okay. The... So that's two for John then, and one for yeah. Billy. John, the dad or John, the killer? Well, actually, I, yeah, Ross. I said John. I said John is the killer. But I and, think John and I think John Ross is. I think John Ross as both the killer and the dad. OK, OK. So similar to me, similar to yeah. me, like with the wife. I think Billy is just like a fucking bystander and they're making him there like he might be the linchpin even just him cracking you know what i mean maybe they like put him under pressure and he finally is the one that leads them i could see i could see a cool scene with mayor really pressing him and he makes a comment about the friend or something like why don't you ask your best friend or something like that you know what i mean and then maybe that's yeah. where it leads back to john and her maybe even keeping the secret and i really like i want to know this Dylan with the shit with the, the diaries though. Like, is it something like just like a child immaturity thing? Like he's like, I don't want to hear, like he didn't want to see all these nice things she had been writing about him because he feels guilty about everything or. Nah, because that could have been something they would have done off camera. So what do you think he, he's trying to hide? It may have connections with her. I don't know her only fans. What was that? Only fit or something? What was that? Oh yeah, basically dating. she had like an OnlyFans. She did have an account on there. That's true. So maybe like he was involved or helped encourage it or something like that. Or it's because maybe he, he wouldn't pay up or something. Maybe mm -hmm. it was like the deadbeat thing, like where how he wouldn't give her any money and stuff for his own kid. Maybe he didn't want that out there. Yeah, and uh, he definitely. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's this, this shit's tough. I. I this, so mayor's definitely going to talk to the priest, the deacon. I think he's going to admit what he did mm -hmm. and try to clear himself. Be like, I did this and that's it. And, but that's going to help the timeline. Right. Yep. So mayor can start piecing together the timeline and then go talk to Billy. What are you doing around this time? Talk to John. What are we doing around this time? And John's not going to be at home in front of Lori. So she can really fucking hammer John mm -hmm. and be like, come on. Like, what, what were you doing? What were you doing? And not feel like her friend Lori is going to get upset that she's coming at her husband, even though she's not going to give a shit. She hates her husband right now. So, I mean, crazy last two episodes to go. Um, I would love to do some more of this. Hopefully we get some theories on this and and uh, maybe maybe we'll be all wrong. Maybe we'll be all right in some way, shape or form. But this show has, show has done a great job of intertwining two mysteries and really keeping you on the edge of your seat the entire time. They've killed it. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, know. definitely. And this is and again, like going back to what we were saying earlier, this was a show that had very low expectations and it is like five star. It's, no, it's, it's been awesome. Um, I definitely agree with Dan. I'd love to see everyone comment and let us know who you think the baby daddy is, the killer. Um, and if Sean actually looks like Mare, because he's yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, at least I don't sound like her. And that's probably my only gripe about the show is their liberty with the Delco accident, D Delco accent. <laughs> and that's our episode. So everyone, it's the O's, the O's. They need to like kind of like step off the gas a little bit. It's just too they want much. to go all out. They want to go all out. I think she sounds great. Well, I uh, think she sounds great. No, I do. It's just I like, ah, I'd love I to cringe. see Winslet do a little, some more limited series and stuff like that. It's really cool. I'm glad that she is selective about her roles. And um, I think we need to take notice next time she accepts a role. It's probably going to be something dope. But um, yeah, I'm, so I'm looking forward to the last two. All right. Let us know what you guys think. Peace. Chone out.